Welcome to this head-to-head -head battle between ChatGPT 4.0 and Claude Sonnet 3.5. We take them through five rounds. Who's going to emerge the winner? Let's get into it. So it's round one of ChatGPT versus Claude. And for round one, we're going to look at a customer services scenario. So Mike has purchased a high-end smartphone from an online retailer. Phone's arrived late and it's also got a scratch. So he's frustrated, sends in an angry email and we are asking both tools to suggest a resolution and respond to the customer by email. So let's see how both of them get on. Speed is going to be one of my judging factors as well as quality. So just going to fire these off at roughly the same uh, same time there, just slightly later for Claude. So Claude may well finish after ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is busy working away. It suggested a uh, resolution here with uh, four points. All of those uh, make perfect sense. And email looks pretty good as well with apologies there, offering immediate replacement uh, or a full refund, so offering a good choice there and smoothing things over by offering a discount on next purchase. So, and rounding off the email there. So uh, nice sort of uh, email reply as well as resolution there. So Claude uh, has recently introduced this new feature called Artifacts, which is quite interesting. So what it does is actually create a separate document when you are curating content. So this is actually uh, an artifact that we're looking here and very, very similar to ChatGPT. But what it has done is separated out the problem so looking at the delayed delivery and offering uh, $50 store credit so it doesn't realize that I'm actually UK based Let's just double check chat GBT there see if there's any reference to uh, pounds oh no they just talk about 15% uh, there and they've also identified the scratched uh, screen there and offering three uh, possibilities so full replacement repair or partial uh, refund and they're also going to extend the warranty to smooth things over. So this uh, artifact approach is actually quite interesting because you can uh, download uh, the file there, whereas ChatGPT doesn't um, give that option. And this isn't actually the full response. So if we just go uh, back a step uh, here, this is the actual response here and they've linked to the artifact there. So very similar to ChatGPT, they have provided the uh, resolution here, the five point resolution and also talked about the uh, tone. So there's a couple of bits and pieces there. Uh, the fact they've got five parts of the resolution, talking about the tone of the email and the fact that you can download that with this new uh, artifact feature. Uh, I think that actually just uh, edges it from uh, from chat GPT, but both both pretty, well, I would say very solid responses, but I'm gonna give that round to Claude. So at the end of round one, it is chat GPT nil, Claude one. So for round two, I'm going to ask ChatGPT and Claude to recommend five engaging business podcasts. And I also want to know where I can listen to them and have the direct links as well. So let's fire them off. Let's start this time. Let's fire off uh, Claude and then ChatGPT and both are working away straight away, making recommendations. And it looks like both are doing the, uh, the job in the same sort of format by providing a description, a, a title description, uh, where to find them and a direct link. So pretty much job done there on ChatGPT, very similar format on uh, Claude and a nice sort of um, conclusion from each as well. Now, one issue with Claude 
is the disclaimer here because it says Claude does not have internet access. Links provided may not be accurate or up to date. So uh, I have done this test before and the links are actually okay. Uh, they do all work and they are accurate. However, it is a little bit of a worry that Claude hasn't got internet access because that does reduce the, the functionality and potential accuracy, whereas ChatGPT has got real-time internet access so for that reason although the answers are very similar and five decent uh, podcasts have been recommended here uh, and also actually I would say the layout is a bit neater here I prefer the um, it's a bit um, less sort of uh, spaces and less clear to, to read from Claude so given that and given the internet access for ChatGPT going to give round two to ChatGPT so the result after round two is is one all so chat gpt one claude one so for round three we're turning our attention to the world of marketing and specifically we are asking for a social media campaign on tiktok and instagram for a pop artist looking to grow her fan base and i'd like to know the latest tiktok and instagram trends best practices for engaging fans Plus, it would be handy to have examples and case studies of successful musicians on TikTok or Instagram. So let's fire off the prompt on ChatGPT and Claude and wait for the results. So pretty quickly, we have got a reply here. And on ChatGPT, we've got campaign goals, which is handy. It's listed those. And just like I requested, it's got the campaign plan with trends. And we've got best practices. And we've got a case study. We've got the Instagram campaign plan here. Uh, I've just put there's a reference to IGTV there, which isn't so good because that no longer exists on, uh, on Instagram. But overall, uh, pretty good and we've got yet another uh, case study and this is very nice we've got a table here with a, a content calendar it's aware of the uh, the current date so it's putting in a, a complete uh, plan here com uh, along with the desired social network the type of post some details on that and hashtags as well and we're still going in terms of measuring the success of the uh, the campaigns just coming to a conclusion now uh, whereas Claude finished quite some time ago it's once again used this interesting uh, artifact uh, approach so we've got a separate document which is what we're looking at here and we've got the current trends as requested for TikTok and Instagram again an incorrect reference to IGTV there some useful best practices that all looks pretty good probably some more uh, examples than chat GPT so uh, that's pretty useful there uh, some ideas on campaign strategy but perhaps it's just not quite so coordinated or specific as the uh, table uh, from uh, from chat GPT there but once again we can either copy and paste uh, the um, content from uh, here by clicking this icon here or we can uh, download it and we've probably actually got some uh, some more information if I go back uh, to the uh, page here so we've got um, yep yeah, says look be happy to uh, create that uh, link to the artifact and basically sort of summarizing what uh, what Claude has uh, has done there so um, once again pretty good answers from uh, from both but I think in terms of thoroughness we have got a way more detailed response here uh, and I particularly like the, the the content calendar I mean I did ask for a content plan and that's exactly what has been uh, provided here uh, they've both got the enclosure of IGTV which isn't so good so um, a couple of uh, negatives there uh, but everything else is pretty much uh, what I uh, asked for so ChatGPT just uh, edges it in round three so the current score is ChatGPT 2, Claude 1. So for round four, we're going to stick with social media and ask each tool to create a funny and engaging Facebook post for a Leeds-based hairdressing salon 
purpose of which is to encourage patrons to book an appointment. So let's fire that off on ChatGPT and fire that off on Claude and we'll see how we get on here. So Claude took a while to, to get going there, but it is now underway, whereas ChatGPT has finished. Uh, and indeed, Claude is now finished, so nothing really in it in terms of the speed there. So let's have a look at the um, quality of the response. So we got a nice uh, heading there with similar emojis. Um, so quite a good sort of a uh, uh, bedhead red carpet um, humorous thing going on there and sort of presentation of a problem perhaps the uh, salon can solve in terms of them being the hair heroes that they uh, that they need uh, and it's all quite sort of um, light-hearted good uh, language um, not sure that that's particularly uh, funny or uh, or appealing but they've got the call to action in there and some uh, some hashtags so here we've got is your main misbehavior behaving fringe gone rogue uh, quite like that uh, and uh, yeah we've got uh, some sort of uh, unique points about this particular um, uh, hair uh, salon here uh, and uh, oh, that's quite clever sort of referencing uh, Yorkshire pudding into uh, into Leeds now um, and uh, yeah we've got a call to action there as well as the uh, as the hashtag so uh, yeah both um, both pretty good but I think because of that interesting Yorkshire pudding reference it's sort of picked up the fact that Leeds is in uh, in Yorkshire now both very very good similar responses i'm going to uh, give that one to claude so at the end of round four it's two all so it is chat gpt two claude two so as we head into round five it's neck and neck between chat gpt and claude for the final task we're going to look at creating a blog post from a PDF of slides which I used for a recent webinar where I provided an introduction to AI as well as showing delegates how to be more productive. So the prompt is nice and simple, create a 600 word blog post from the attached PDF. So I'm gonna fire that off on ChatGPT and fire that off on Claude. And you'll see that ChatGPT has already started, got the initial paragraph and title in there. And over on Claude, it's once, once again using this uh, artifacts approach. So making it nice and easy for us to uh, download the finished uh, blog post or indeed uh, copy that and then paste it into a web page. So I do like that, uh, do like that um, feature. It is something new and it does differentiate Claude from some of the AI tools there and it has indeed finished. Uh, I'm pretty sure that ChatGPT has kind of probably overrun the brief there, although it's just getting to the uh, conclusion now. I'm not sure that is actually limited to uh, 600 um, words there, um, but just scanning this looks like it's pulled a lot of appropriate information from the slides and that is also the case uh, here with uh, with Claude nice uh, summary lots of bullet points uh, nice uh, nice headings there so I think I'm going to give this one to uh, to Claude we'll just double check and go back to the uh, whole uh, thing here so just confirming that it's going to create the uh, create the post there and kind of like realizes it was a it was a seminar that's uh, that's interesting and it summarized it as uh, well and also asking me if I'd like to explain or elaborate on any part of the blog post so yes I think because of the uh, artifact approach once again let's just click on that so I can show you, you can copy that or you can uh, download it that does just give the edge to Claude so the final Final score in ChatGPT versus Claude is ChatGPT 2, Claude 3. Claude is the winner.